Hello and welcome to a Z Classroom video on creating a custom insert brush. In this video, we're going to use a previously created bolt in ZBrush to create an insert bolt brush. Let's begin by appending a plane to my bolt. We're going to be using this plane as a way to guide us to how the bolt would be applied to any surface when creating an insert brush. You can see that my plane is sitting at the perfect zero zero axis, but you can see that the bolt is off in another axis and also is facing a different direction. So let's begin by first adjusting our bolt size. So in deformation, with my bolt selected, I'm gonna click unify. You can see instantly the bolt is now adjusted to fit with inside the plane. Now I need to orient the bolt that when I draw out on any surface, I want the bolt to be facing a certain direction. I want the top of the bolt to all be facing out when I draw. So in my preview menu, I'm going to switch my bolt to this view and click store. You can see that in the canvas, the bolt automatically is adjusted to fit along the surface in such a way. Now I want to adjust how the bolt would sit on the surface when drawn out. Now using the plane again as my guide, I can see that I actually want to bring some of the ridges outside the surface. So switching to my move mode, and using the green line as a guide, I can decide where I want the bolt to sit. This green line is being used as a guide because the plane is sitting along this axis. So you can see here, this is how the bolt will be drawn out on any surface. So now that I've done this, let's add the bolt to a insert brush. Any insert brush we can be used. So I'm gonna click on the insert cube brush underneath my brush palette and modifiers, you can see that the cube is selected in our little preview window here. By clicking on this, we will load up our tool palette. And I'm gonna click my bolt. Now I've just created insert bolt brush, and as you can also see, the icon is updated. So let's try applying this to a surface. Switching to my engine part, we can now draw out a surface, and with radial symmetry on, I can draw several bolts at once. And you can see that once I'm drawn out, the distance and the direction of the bolt is all set by the previously established position when creating the insert brush. And this is creating a custom insert brush. Thank you for watching this video and please continue to watch more Z Classroom videos on pixelogic.com.